Okay, I've never done this before, so I don't know how it's gonna go. All right. Hi, I'm Dan, and this is Puzzle File. I'm so excited about today's video for a lot of reasons. First of all, because this video is my 500 subscribers celebration. Thank you so much to all 500 of you. I got here a lot faster than I expected to. I'm also excited for this video because we're looking at a collaboration between New York Puzzle Company and the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. I love both of those things. So to celebrate my 500 subscribers, I'm going to be doing five 100-piece puzzles, but I'm going to be mixing all the pieces together. These puzzles came in this set of seven mini puzzles that have bird illustrations by Anne Catherine Worth at the Cornell Lab. The Cornell Lab has a bunch of really interesting programs to get people engaged with ornithology. I actually used to participate in one of their citizen science projects called Nest Watch. There were a pair of morning doves that would nest on my side porch, and so for a couple years I collected data on them and their different nesting attempts and reported that data back to the Cornell Lab. And the Cornell Lab has a few different projects like this where citizen scientists can collect their own data and report it. So you get to contribute a little bit to scientific research. It's really cool. I'm gonna link that below in the description. If you're into bird watching, check it out. All right, this video is gonna be short and sweet, so let's take a look at the boxes and then we'll dive right in. Okay, so here's the outer box Cornell Lab of Ornithology mini puzzle collector set, and this is by New York Puzzle Company. I love New York Puzzle Company. They do really beautiful, high-quality puzzles. On the side of the box, some information about the Cornell Lab. Over here we can see the seven images that are included. And this box feels really sturdy and high quality. Inside we've got our seven mini puzzles all in their individual boxes. So we've got the puzzle image, we've got the name of the bird, this is the Carolina Wren, and on the back there's some information about the bird and also a QR code so that you can hear the bird sing. And so today I'll be mixing together the Carolina Wren the American Goldfinch, the Cedar Waxwing, the Pileated Woodpecker, and the Belted Kingfisher. Inside the little box, the pieces come in a plastic bag. And these are the kind of nice pieces I expect from New York Puzzle Company. Although the piece shapes are not as interesting as you get in their larger size puzzles. Okay, I've never done this before, so I don't know how it's going to go. I'm going to try to do it without referencing the boxes. So I'm just going to mix all the pieces together, start my timer, and we'll get puzzling. It took me 20 minutes to get everything plated out and just look at how many edge pieces there are. That is so many edge pieces. It's like a third of the pieces are edge pieces. And of course we have 20 corners over here. So I am going to start by trying to do the five frames to give me something to work off of. And then I'll just fill them in.
Well, these were just so much fun to puzzle. The artwork is beautiful, and by mixing them all together and not looking at the boxes, it made them perplexing and surprising and really satisfying all the way along. My final time on that was just over two and a half hours. Of these five, the Carolina Wren is definitely the most difficult because it has a solid colored background. And if you're like me, then you're wondering, do all of these puzzles have the same piece cut? And guess what? They do, which means it's puzzle playtime. <laughs> Thank you again to everyone who has subscribed to my channel so far. If you're not a subscriber, I hope that you'll consider hitting that subscribe button. It'll really help my little channel to grow. Alright, I'm gonna get back to puzzling and catch y'all next time.